Okay, guys, so I want to talk about the dollar here. Now, uh, I think you, you all know my long-term kind of targets of the dollar. I mean, I, I think we're on a downward channel. I think we're, we're end up going to crash. I don't, maybe I shouldn't say crash, but uh, a downtrend uh, more than anything. I mean, this is a two-week chart. It can take months and years to play out. Um, but what I want to talk about here is very interesting. Now, I've made a lot of videos about this and about my targets and thinking we're coming down here. Well, we need to see what the targets are, but what I'm saying is I think we can come down. Are we going to hit the bottom end of the channel? It's hard to know. It's really hard to know. This printing is uh, unprecedented, and uh, it's really tough to see and understand like what implications it's going to have. Because, you know, the the... the the, all the printing money is not actually into circulation. And in theory, it's not actually devaluing the dollar in, in terms of that we're going to get hyperinflation or anything. So there, there, there's a lot of good arguments towards that because it's not in circulation. It, it means nothing in a way. Maybe uh, maybe not means nothing. Uh, I shouldn't say that. Uh, but it, it, it's kind of, uh, there, there's arguments out there to go against the hyperinflation uh, theories, you know, because of all this money printing, we're going to get hyperinflation. But, but uh, there's good arguments against that. Anyway, um, well, I'm more interested in the chart, right? I'm more interested in the chart. And uh, if you look here, um, it's it's quite important. Let me just delete this. It's quite important that um, we we are potentially breaking down underneath all moving averages after a consolidation base. Okay, after after an up move and a consolidation base. Now we're at the inflection point here, where we need to start bouncing pretty hard, pretty soon to get back above here to to do this, or we've already broke down, and price is going to start doing this. You can see here when you break underneath all moving averages on on crosses of the moving averages. Look at the, look at the cross. Look at the cross on, on the red 200 moving average moving below the purple uh, 200 moving average. That's bearish. That's bearish, right? Look at this. We've already crossed. This is going to have, this in theory should have downward pressure. Okay. In theory should have downward pressure. When you cross to the red to a red moving average above, that can bring upward pressure. That can bring upward pressure. I'll just say it again to be crystal clear on this. You can see here the red crossed right here. We, you can just see it crossing. Let me zoom in on this. There's a cross right here. You can see that when the red crosses above, it can bring upward pressure. Okay, it can bring upward pressure. Now, we have just crossed bearish here. This is a bearish cross on the dollar, implying the dollar is going to move into a downtrend, implying that this is a breakdown. I mean, when these crosses happen, well, I mean, we have one here. We obviously we had one here signaling that the bottom is close, and then we 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 bottomed out. Uh, well, just closely after that, and we moved into a long-term bull trend. I mean, when I say long-term, I mean that's that's 2011 uh, to the peak in uh, 2017. It's a, it's long-term, right? It is long-term. It's a two-week chart. We just got across here and plan that we can move into a long-term downtrend and plan that this is a breakdown. Right, so the, if the dollar is going to move into a, a, a bear market, a bearish market here, um, we're, we're kind of just holding on the skin of its teeth here. Like, is that is that the right trend line to draw? I mean, we've got this double bottom here. We've got this trend line. We've got the break underneath all moving averages. We start breaking this trend line, guys, and that could be all she wrote for the dollar, uh, and and move into a downtrend. So if if I just zoom in here, and I just look at this. Now, if you watch my previous videos, um, you know, my previous videos, I, I called the spike up and I said, we'll test the red 200 moving average. I can even find that video and post it again for you. We were down here and I said, we will likely bounce up into this cluster and retest the red 200 moving average and then roll over. Uh, so far, so good. But it, it's it's into the inflection point, right? Could this be a double bottom? And, and, and then uh, we kind of do do something like that and, and get back above. This is the, the, the all important inflection point right in here. So there, there's a, a weekly, you can see right here, there's potentially a weekly stop on here, potentially a weekly stop on. Now, 
let's uh, let's let's look at the larger time frames. This is by no means a bullish pattern yet. Okay, it's by no means it, it could actually be a bearish pattern. We are failing to hold up in here, and you know the the next six months candle could actually tank from this as we are now closing below support, closing below these moving averages. Uh, a similar candle, not identical, but you can see right here, and you can see this rejection right here. Um, well, we closed a, closed below the net yellow nine EMA here, and then we. We ended up closing lower, dropping lower, I should say. Um, so it is important. Maybe if we flip green here, right, a new six-month candle is in 35 days' time. It's going to be very important for direction. We're going to get massive, massive moves in these markets in 35 days' time. Guys, I, I, I really uh, I really do think we, we should get massive moves in, in the start of a new six-month candle and a new three-month candle because this is an inflection point. We're really... We're either going to have a failure and break right back up here, sharp, hard, and fast, or this is going to have a huge breakdown in the dollar. Now, if you look here, if you look at this huge move, right, in the dollar, that's a massive bearish move. That was one of the biggest bearish moves in six-month candles in the last 10 years, right? It really was, apart from this one candle, right, but that, that, that was big as well. But look at this. Now, if I bring you the BTC chart, look at this. This is uh, 1st of July. Okay, first of July we opened here and we crashed in the dollar. We had a hard, hard drop, I should say. Now, what happened on the first of July? Well, first of July, Bitcoin absolutely started to skyrocket. That was the start of the bull market. Okay, so it's it's extremely interesting here. What happens if the dollar crashes from here? If the dollar's crashing from here, there's a likelihood that people are going to flock into Bitcoin and potentially even cryptocurrencies. So I, I'm just uh, making this video and putting an alert out and a warning um, that a new six-month chart could actually spark a, a, a pretty large downtrend in the dollar. It's really at that inflection point. So we need to be uh, aware and we need to be on guard. You know, on a new six-month chart, can 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 we see Bitcoin do this again? You know, if the dollar is going to start crashing, can this just continue? Well, we know liquidity likes to be taken up here. And even in a lot of altcoins, when this pattern has happened, we have just blown through it and then kept going. So trading the new candle in 35 days time is going to be extremely important. Six month candle, three month candle and a one month candle with a potential of a dollar breakdown. There's going to be huge moves in this market.